Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here in Alani on Oahu in Hawaii. So as you've been seeing some of my videos recently, I did post a Hawaii vlog which takes you through our fun family vacation here in Hawaii. We're having a great time so far, so I really hope you're enjoying seeing the sights with us. And you know, I am originally from here, so it's really fun to come home and see friends and family. So I hope you're enjoying that. Also, um, I did recently post a video with my unboxing of a couple of Dior items I picked up, one of which I'm still wearing because <laughs> I just shot that video. This is the Dior Tribal Earrings I talked about. But I also unboxed the bag in that one, so definitely check it out. And I'm sharing with you guys all my price points here in Hawaii because as you are probably aware if you're a luxury lover, a lot of fashion houses here in Hawaii do offer this Hawaii discount, which varies store to store and also varies um, based on the item that you're picking up in the store as well. So not all items are discounted most times and every store is a little bit different. So yesterday I was able to venture out to Kalakaua Avenue in Waikiki and that's considered luxury row in here in Hawaii where all of the really well-known famous fashion designer houses are located all on one street so it's super easy to access them. There's also a lot of other fun things on that street as well. Some kind of mall brands, more conventional stores, there's a lot of entertainment oftentimes. So it's a really fun place to kind of hang out. So I was able to break away a little bit from that. My husband thankfully watched our four kids during that time. So I could do a little bit of shopping. So I did go to Dior as I talked about and showed you in my last video. And then I know that um, St. Laurent definitely also offers the Hawaii discount. So I wanted to definitely go into that store. So I was happy I did so. My other favorite fashion houses, Chanel and Hermes, do not offer extra Hawaii discounts. But all the stores here you can consider offer a semi discount because sales tax in Hawaii is 4.7% versus, at least in California, close to 10%. But I tried to just focus on the stores that I know had that extra Hawaii discount, um, just to kind of focus my shopping in that way. So I decided to pick up a couple of things from Saint Laurent, which I'm gonna unbox for you in this particular video. I wanted to break it up from my Dior video because I like to really talk about each item and show them to you in detail as I unbox them. So I wanted to just not make the video super long. So I'm just gonna focus on my Saint Laurent purchases here. All right, so here's the box it comes in, or the bag it comes in. And as you know, I do have a couple of items from Saint Laurent already purchased on Fashion File and Farfetch. So one of them is my beautiful Lulu Matlasse medium bag, and I did a full in-depth review of that bag, which I will link below. I also recently purchased, as you've seen in my video already, uh, unboxing of my beautiful um, tote bag, the Rive Gauche tote bag that I got in the smaller size, which I actually have here right now in Hawaii. But let me go grab it for you and I can show it to you guys. So I did unbox this bag prior to coming to Hawaii, which I shared with you guys, but I decided to take this with me and I just mentioned in that unboxing video, I'm hoping to use it a lot during the spring and summer months, especially for travel, but also in the weekends. I think it's just a very versatile type of tote bag that is practical for me. Um, so I'm just checking it out because I really did take this around yesterday and I've thrown it on the ground when I go out to eat because I don't want to be one of those women who has to have their handbags on the table or on a chair next to them because um, honestly, I don't know, I get a little embarrassed doing that. So I tend to just throw my bags, even my designer ones, on the ground. So because this particular style of handle doesn't easily rest on the back of most restaurant chairs, you either have to put it on a chair seat, on the table, or on the ground. So I've been just putting it on the ground. <laughs> And I mean, this is Hawaii, so the ground isn't always all that pristine, honestly, when you're eating outside. But I've been just doing it because it's canvas, so I'm okay with that. You know, I don't want to be one of those super high maintenance handbag people. I mean, it's a bag. So that's what I've been doing. But honestly, it's held up pretty well. I mean, this was not meant to be a review of this bag, but just to quickly show you guys that I have been enjoying and loving this bag on this trip. And I think the size is perfect because I really use it as a purse. I've been carrying it with me everywhere. As you can see, it's chock full of ton of stuff. Um, and when I went into the St. Laurent store yesterday, they saw me carrying this bag and complimented it. And the sales associate said this particular size, which is the smaller version of the Reeve Gauche tote, is sold out. So I'm happy that I didn't wait to try to score this in Hawaii because I wouldn't have been able to. 
So if you're interested in this tote, definitely recommend the size. I will do an in-depth review once I test it out a little more, but so far I've been really loving it as my you know purse for this vacation. Anyway, so that was in the store, so they had some of these options there, but again, the smaller version was not available. And then um, let me show you what I actually decided to pick up. So I had in mind kind of that I wanted these two items already. So let me get the first one for you here. You can probably guess what it is, um, but I love the Saint Laurent packaging. It's just so streamlined and beautiful and classy with the black, and it has this elasticized ribbon here, which I will remove. Kind of tight here and one thing that's nice about buying a boutique of course is you get this whole boutique experience and that's different from farfetch with this bag where it came in a nice dust bag but it didn't have the box and ribbon and all that so let me go ahead and show you what i picked up it's in this little pouch and it has this little preservative pouch which i've never had before in a lot of my items but it's in this one <laughs> it has i believe probably a care booklet and then it's a cute little dust bag here, and I will reveal my newest SLG, which is the classic card holder that probably everybody owns, but I had to get one for myself. This one has two pockets on the front, a middle section where you can put bills or more cards, and then two pockets on the back. And it's this beautiful, um, shiny gold YSL on the front with their classic Chevron style. I'm sure you guys have seen this many times before, but it's just pretty. I needed to have this in black, no question. I do have my Chanel flap card holder, which I absolutely love, but this one is a lot more streamlined. I wanted one that was just easy to grab and go that didn't have extra bulk. So this was perfect. I love the YSL card holders. Definitely um, fits my style. So I was excited to add this one. And let me share with you guys price points because, again, I mentioned, I think everything in the store, I'm not sure about shoes, but definitely all their leather goods is discounted here in Hawaii. So this particular one retails for $275, and I had a $27.50 savings on this. That's 10%. And that's not including the savings with regard to tax. So 10% off of this card holder. So I was happy to pick this up. I just love the quilted design. Um, it will match so many things. And I had to get it in black because I always worry about color transfer, especially things like this that get a lot of abuse with the lighter colors. Although I think they're beautiful and I may try to add one to my collection. I think for right now, I just wanted to stick with the basic black for my SLG. All right, so that's the first item that I got. And then the second item here is another one that I'm sure you've probably seen, but I had to pick up. And this is the perfect place to pick it up. So here it is. And let's see if I can put this up here. All right, so this next item is a little bigger. Such really nice wrapping. It has um, the care booklet in there as well. But in this one, you will see I picked up the classic clutch that I know everybody's been raving about. Um, let me tell you exactly what it's called on the website. Okay, so this is called the Monogram Clutch in Quilted Grain De Poudre Embossed Leather. This particular colorway is called Dark Natural. So I was so lucky because I was able to see all of the colors. I think they had all of the colors on the website that I could see in person. I knew I didn't want black because I have other clutches in black, um, such as my walk from Chanel that I often use as a clutch or for going out. And then I also have my YSL Matt Lasse Lulu bag in black as well. So I didn't really want another YSL black bag, honestly. I needed a clutch that would be a little lighter in color. So I saw the beautiful uh, beige color as well, and I was deciding between the beige and this one. Um, but, you know, the essay did mention that the beige, of course, like most light colored leathers, is prone to color transfer. And I just really didn't like that. I just wanted to have something that's a little bit more versatile for me. So I decided to go with this beautiful darker color, this cognac color, and I just love this color in general. A lot of my bags are this color because I just really love this caramelly cognac type of shade. So I decided to go with this one. I think this would be great if I want to lighten up my outfit a little bit more, especially in the summer months. I think this would be a great clutch to go with a lot of summertime outfits. And not so dark as black, of course. 
So you've seen this everywhere, I know, because people talk a lot about this clutch because of how reasonably priced it is for what you get. And um, it definitely beats the price points for their walks or wallet on chains, for instance. I know people oftentimes will convert this into a crossbody by just adding a strap from Amazon or somewhere else. I probably won't. Um, I don't necessarily know how I feel about just adding chains to bags. Um, so I'm just going to use it as it was meant to be, which is a clutch and a wristlet. That's probably how it's going to work for me. Um, but let me show you guys here how it looks. It has a beautiful chevron detail. It has the gold hardware there. There's one snap button closure right here, and here is the strap. And it says Saint Laurent Paris here. And it essentially is just one big open hit. There is a leather tab on the bottom there. And then there's one little um, pocket here. But other than that, it's a big open hole. But I've seen so many videos on this clutch that show how much it actually can hold because you can see the gussets are pretty big here, wide here. So it does hold a decent amount of items. And it's a great little grab and go clutch. And it has the wristlet strap here, so you can wear it as a wristlet or just take off the wristlet, which is fully removable. And then it's just a basic clutch. So I'm gonna use it as a clutch and a wristlet, probably as a pouch in some of my other bags as well. It's great to just put your essentials, which I probably will do, like a keys, phone, and wallet, maybe a lipstick, pack of gum, that's it. That's all I need to carry. And then I probably will throw this in one of my bigger bags too. So I am so excited excited to have received this bag. There are so many beautiful color options. If this works out for me, I probably will add a few more because I think this is going to be super versatile and one that I'm going to just love carrying around. I think it can go very casual to dressy pretty easily. So I'm super excited about this one. I will share with you guys price points too. So this one also is the 10% discount. So the retail of this particular bag is $725. So I paid $652.50 for this bag. I also, of course, saved on some of the tax, like I keep mentioning. So the savings was pretty good. Um, I was excited about this. I think it's definitely a good time to pick this up here in Hawaii. And I may go back for other colors if I like this bag. All right, so I think that's it. I just got two items to Saint Laurent, but I really enjoyed shopping in the store. It was super easy. I had so much selection there and it wasn't very crowded. So I definitely recommend you checking them out if you haven't already while you're in Hawaii. All right, guys, thanks for watching yet another video. I hope you enjoyed this little series uh, from Hawaii that I put together. Um, I'm looking forward to enjoying the last few days here and we'll update you, of course, in that vlog that I've been talking about if you wanna check it out too. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!